Good morning. N1CLC here at the SOC. Uh, getting ready to head out. Probably do a triple today. So I'm going to start with Whiting Knoll. Um, no, excuse me. I'm going to start with St. Peter's Dome, then over to Whiting Knoll. Um, and then on the drive out, I'll uh, drive up to Greens Peak. That's a drive up. It's, uh, I think it is the highest peak in Arizona that you can actually drive to the top of. So, um, two really gorgeous hikes. Uh, the area is a, a very beautiful area just to go hiking. So, uh, super enjoyable. So, uh, let's get started. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. To kind of focus on, uh, you know, just getting the activations done and relaxing a little bit up there. So that was nice. Yeah, the St. Peter's Dome is a uh, is a good one because you can double uh, with Whiting Knoll, uh, which is also a pretty and it's a short hike. But uh, yeah, I've got charts to the uh, to both of those. Nicely preserved for us. 
peak. trailhead uh, for St. Peter's Dome. There's a little road that goes up here. Um, there's, there's a big fallen down sign that says road closed on it. Looks like people have gone through here. Um, hopefully it's just for service. No problem, we'll park out here. Only adds about a half mile or so to the trek, I don't know. Um, last time I came through here, I really, really enjoyed just walking through the forest here. So, it's about 48 degrees according to the temp gauge on uh, in the car. It's going to warm up, but it's, shoot, it's after 9, it's still pretty darn cool up here. So, a little bit uh, cooler weather right now. But, uh, quiet. And uh, really pretty up here. So let's get to work. I can hear the wind in the background. Definitely not blowing like yesterday. We'll get a bit of a breeze, but uh, sure is nice up here. Appreciate the cooler weather. Last time I was up here, it's a little warmer. Just makes it work out a little tougher. I'll be taking this fleece off pretty soon. But we'll, we'll angle up the side of the mountain here. I turned it a little bit too soon and ran into a fence, so taking a oblique angle here. No. That's not what you think. Maybe it is. Time to shed a layer. Um, it is still less than 70 up here when the wind hits you. Oh, definitely gonna cool me down, but getting too sweaty in this as it warms up. So let me just stick this in here so it's easily accessible. more than halfway up some beautiful views up here already but I don't do this often especially unpaid this hike brought to you by Anytown the makers of fine HT and mobile radios this one the Anytown 878 with a diamond RH 77 CA antenna on it little add-on gives me a little bit better range um, the, I, I'm giving it basically the acid test. This thing is in the dirt all the damn time. When I put my backpack down, I forget to pull my strap out of the way. So it's sitting in the dirt, rolling in the dirt. It's been blowing dirt into it. I've dropped it. Um, this thing is awesome. It's a two meter, 70 centimeter radio, regular uh, AM, ham radio. Um, analog, but it also does DMR, which is awesome. 
from up here, I will be able to hit a repeater uh, on Porter Mountain with it and talk to my pals in San Diego. But uh, if you're thinking about getting a radio for soda, highly recommend this. It also supports APRS, if that's your thing. Um, if you can get APRS in your area, I can't right here, I can in the California area. Um, you can use it for tracking, um, spotting yourself when doing soda uh, and other stuff. The, the other cool thing is that the, the battery packs on these, yes, are a little bit heavier. You can get a smaller one for it, by the way. But um, uh, it lasts at least a couple days. I turn it on while I'm on a hike. Um, I typically monitor 146.52, but while I'm up here, I'm monitoring uh, Rimlink, which is a, a linked repeater system. There's one a repeater right over here, so I could hit it with really low power. Um, but I, it, it's linked with repeaters all the way down into the Phoenix Valley area, which means I can contact my buddy down there. Um, so Charlie, uh, yeah, November, Juliet 7 Victor. Sorry, Charlie, almost forgot it there. So yeah, brought to you by Anytone. This thing is friggin' rugged. Um, and it, it just works awesome. I was able to hit this repeater from way over on the other side of Alpine, Arizona. So um, it works well. And if you're looking for a strap for your HT, fits multiple HTs, I recommend this one because it 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 is resizable and everything else. It rigs really nice uh, up. Um, the bottom of it, the strap isn't big enough, but I just improvised a new one. Um, so it works well. And I'll put a link to it if I can find it in the com in the uh, in the description. You can check that out. So I've blathered on long enough. Uh, really, the cover here is so I can just take a quick little break and enjoy the views. Because that's what soda is all about. Sure, there's radios, but man, there's uh, this is my kind of hiking. This is this is my nirvana. Um, I'm not a desert hiker, but I, I'm mainly used to this. I uh, grew up in this kind of area, so I have a, an emotional attachment as well. Everybody uh, has an emotional attachment to land and maybe where they're from, where they grew up. This is me. Um, the other enjoyable thing about it is you're walking over pine needles and soft dirt and and stuff and it's easy on your feet but it's a joy to hike on let's get back to work enough waxing and waning and poetic bullshit <laughs> I see the top enough zigzagging I'm gonna go straight up <sighs> it's like taking stairs with a pack at nine, 9,500 or more. A little windy up here. Let me see if I can get Charlie down in Phoenix. set up here. I don't like using the recorder, that's why I'm doing it this way. And I turn it up loud and it sounds like shit sometimes. I do apologize to the Elecraft aficionados that don't like me doing that. But whatever. Alright. Let me send the QRL out. Oops. Help if I tune it first. Confirm here. I'm on Alpha Papa 006, so let's get that started in my logbook here. November Juliet 7 Victor. This is November 1 Charlie Lima Charlie Summit's on the air.
Roger, Roger. Got to have your priorities, man. <laughs> Gotta love it. The guy's in a Zoom meeting. He's going to drop that. Come over and pick up a contact. That's a ham operator for you. A real soda chaser. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Let's see if I have internet up here. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, and uh, I tell you what, that's a sign of a true soda chaser when he's willing to drop a Zoom meeting, go out and get a contact. 7.058, over. Roger, Roger, seven decimal zero five eight. All right, I'll be uh, listening here and there, so uh, stand away. Hey, Charlie, you get any of that? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, you want to try 60? Give me a frequency. Five decimal three three two. Stand by one. Roger, Roger. Um, hey, have uh, have Josh wait for me. Uh, call him in the Slack group. Tell him I'll go to seven five eight, and uh, have him spot me when he hears me. Okay, Roger, Roger. Thanks a lot, Charlie. I'll uh, get back to your Zoom meeting, man. Done, uh, done time. Yeah, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five on 60, so not bad. Roger, Roger. That's the first time I've ever activated 60. <laughs> Very cool. All right, dude. Uh, thanks a lot. I'm on my way.
right, that is a wrap for St. Peter's Dome. I don't know if I got the, the QSOs, uh, the conversations I had on the uh, radio, recorded or not, because I think it might have been in turbo mode. If so, that's just the way it goes. Um, I'm going to head down, jump in the car, and hit the next peak. So, let's get going. I got something to eat, too. I'm hungry. What makes us, uh, what makes this descent so uh, fantastic is there's no boulders and rocks and stuff. So, you can go down without having to worry about stepping on a rock and having it come out from underneath you and everything. And it's spongy and soft. Uh, super pleasurable descent off that peak. Um, so nice out here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned uh, wrapped up. I was going to get on sideband. My hands were getting cold. I needed to get move around. And uh, we'll go over and activate this other summit. Hopefully hit sideband as well for those guys. Um, so we're going to go over to Whiting. I think it's Whiting Knoll. And uh, hit that guy. It's a short drive and then, uh, I don't know, a one mile hike up to the top. Um, so, yeah. Pretty spectacular day. Um, light breeze, which is perfect compared to yesterday's 60 mile an hour plus winds on the summits. So... Let's get cracking. At the designated uh, trailhead for Whiting Knoll. Not really designated, but there's a little uh, uh, road that comes up here underneath the power line. And then I saw a road that goes up there. It's been closed for quite some time, so uh, we'll park here and uh, hike up. Climb Mountain, work radio. Looks like there's been traffic on this. It did look like it's closed. No problem though. Our summit's right there. Oof, straight up climb though. Gotta love it. For lack of a summit marker, this will have to do. Let's see a cache down here. It's a really small summit. Um, but I uh, could definitely work, run two operators up here. I think this road comes through and then heads down that way. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, parked. Then followed that road up. Oh. And right there, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, St. Peter's Dome. Oh no, I take that back, darn it. That's Green's Peak. So St. Peter's Dome would be this way, right for the, through the trees there. Uh, about two miles, three miles away. So, um, let's uh, get set up here and get cracking. I fire up the radio. I have something to eat, I'm famished. One o'clock. Mm. It burned up and around here. Unfortunate. Light wind. <laughs> 